Hey guys, so I decided to uh, do a video for you on something that I'm newly interested in. I'm, I'm recently getting into the drone business. Um, I've got a tiny little semi here. But I, I, I practiced on the little one for quite a while, for about a month. I decided I was going to upgrade and I bought myself a DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. Beautiful machine. I mean, out of the box, it was just wonderful. It was, it, it flew very nicely, it has a nice hover, it, it controls were smooth, it was awesome. And I'd, I'd done a lot of research on the machines, um, and I, I finally decided to go with the DJI. And I watched a lot of videos and reviews on it, and I watched a lot of crash videos, people who had flyaways, people who crashed it. A lot of the time they'd fly for a few minutes and then hit a building or whatever, and it would just go down in flames, and it would be epic, and you're, they're cool to watch, it sucks to be that guy. I was thinking, in all my infinite wisdom, that'll never be me. I'll never crash that thing. You know, that's an expensive piece of machinery. I'm going to be very, very careful. Seven minutes into my flight time, a piece of fabric got caught in the prop. It <laughs> wrapped around it and then sucked into a building, which then caused it to flip upside down, and then it propelled itself into the ground. Now, if that was with my hardy little semi here, it would have been no damage. This thing would have just, you know, kept going. It being a DJI Phantom, Ow. the arm shell broke, and the prop would just hit the arm. So it just it just demolished it. It was no longer flyable, and it was due for costly repairs. The day I got it, I shipped it back for repairs because I broke it that same day. Fortunately, I don't have the video for you guys because I stopped filming like 25 seconds before the accident. Unfortunately, or else it would be a really cool video to unfortunately show you. It's embarrassing, I know. Since then, I bought a unique Q500, which is coming now in the mail. Um, when I've got those two drones, I've also got a Sima X8 and a Sima X5 coming. So I'm going to show you guys kind of all those drones. If, you, if you're interested in this recent uh, new hobby that people seem to be getting into, uh, especially due with the release of the Phantom 3 lineup, people are kind of getting into it more. It's quite interesting. Um, a lesson, if you want to fly a drone, don't, I don't care what people who review them say, I don't care what the manufacturers say. The DJI Phantom, and same with the Q500, they're in a very expensive, but a nice machine, but a very expensive machine. You want to buy a drone to practice? Get a little drone. There's all kinds of different Nanos, Hubsons out there. Even the Simas, they're cheap, they're, they're easy to replace if you break them, and I mean, they, they're good to learn on. Uh, something cool with drones, is these things have a head so I don't know if you can tell here's the head so orange lights the head green lights the the, uh, the back so when you're when you're going if you steer forward it'll go with the head it'll go forward if you steer to the left it'll go left right but if your head gets flipped you steer forward now it comes towards you you steer to the left it now goes to the right so things to practice on before you guys get a drone if you if you're into that kind of thing anyways Mine crashed and burned. I'm horribly embarrassed. I was so mad I booted a fan like 35 feet across my yard because I was I was so upset. Seven minutes in. So anyways, there's my video. Um, the picture's not my drone. It's a generic demolished DJI. Unfortunately, I don't have mine. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm going to put up a few more drone videos for you because I miss doing videos. I miss you guys. Apparently, there's still like 30,000 minutes of me a week being watched on YouTube, which sometimes when I think about it's a little creepy. That's okay. Uh, so I'm going to get a few more videos out there for you guys. And yeah, I, I missed you. I hope you're all well. You're looking great. And I'll talk to you soon.